Hello all you wonderful creative people and as always, welcome to Art in Motion. Now, this video is going to be just a little bit different to all the others that I've done because I've been kind of depressed and motivation and creativity has been at an all-time low. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit more therapeutic. We're going to be taking a look at this incredible bit of artificial intelligence made by NVIDIA. What it does is it takes simple sketches and turns them into incredible works of art without any real effort. But it's a lot of fun to play around and figure out what it's doing. The really nice thing is it's completely free for you to play around with. I'll leave a link in the description below. And hey, while you're down there, why not just hit that subscribe button and leave a like. So just to try it out, all I've got to do is click on this little arrow over here. But I get a pop-up that basically says I have to agree to the terms and conditions. So go down to the bottom and agree by clicking on this little box and try again. So right out the box, we get something that looks like this. I mean, that's quite impressive. What we can do is just go to the side panel over here and just click on, say, mountains, and we'll add in a little island over here. In fact, let's just change the type of brush, maybe make it a little bit smaller so we can get some sharper edges. And we'll just fill in all those little gaps because that might be a little bit weird and click go. Ah, see, now we've got an island. I think we need some clouds. Let's add some wispy clouds. Ooh, wispy clouds. I think we could do some smaller clouds on the island itself. Wait, hold on. Let's undo that. Add in that wispy cloud again. And maybe add some in the distance that are smaller. We'll add in plants. Make the brush maybe a little bit smaller. Add it in along the edges of this island. We'll add in some sand that goes right around the edge. So maybe that'll give us a beach. I don't know. We'll also maybe add some snow to the top of this. These little peaks. And maybe add in, hmm. Maybe add in water. So we'll have a little waterfall over here. And more plants. Let's add in a few more plants around here and in the middle. So now it's a bit more of a tropical island with a beach and some sand, some snow at the top there, which probably doesn't really make sense. Oh, but I think we could do with some more clouds. So we'll add clouds that go along the top here maybe it's a volcano so we'll have something like that let's see what happens okay it doesn't quite work um let's make that a little bit thicker and start from about here hmm yeah, it doesn't seem to quite like that, but I still think that looks pretty cool. So let's just fix up that mountain a little bit. Fill in a little bit more sky around the top there. I do like what the cloud is actually doing. It looks kind of cool. Oh, okay. There we go, I suppose. Oops. Oops. 
Okay, let's try that. Yeah, okay, it's getting there. But I think that's pretty impressive. But we can push things a little bit further. At the bottom here, we've got all these different reference images that it uses to create what it's doing. So if we just click on one, it'll give us a completely different look based off of the lighting and the landscape. Ah, oh, look how beautiful that one is. Hmm. I really like that. Oh, those colors look awesome. Now that looks volcanic. We can even go into things that are actual paintings. And they look pretty cool too. Oh, that looks awesome. Cubism. Can't go wrong. But I just want to show you something that's pretty awesome. It was a demonstration I saw. So if we just start from scratch again, take a look at what it looks like. It looks like that. I think we'll go with this one instead. Perfect. And we'll select rock. And we'll paint, make this bigger. We'll just paint like a cliff face because it's going to give us <coughs> a rocky looking cliff face. See? Awesome. Looks kind of like a, an island almost. And if we were to go down to water and make a stream that goes down here, it'll give us a waterfall kind of so here we can probably do something that looks like that let's see what happens awesome so now we've got kind of a whacked out waterfall uh, let's try that again we'll go rock face Make it all jagged. Ooh, see that looks quite cool. Uh, river. And there we've got a waterfall. I think that looks brilliant. Just paint in like that. Perfect. Um, maybe we'll add in some trees over there and some trees over here don't know what that's going to do let's just take a look oh see that looks kind of awesome and then we'll add some sand that goes along here make this a little bit bigger so we can paint a little bit easier and paint around here so it'll look more like a lagoon now i assume See, now it's like a desert island. And maybe we'll add a big stone over there. I don't know what that's going to look like. It might look awful. Nah, it looks, it looks like a stone. And because there's a stone there, it looks like a piece of island. So maybe we'll add a tree. And maybe some plants along here, over there. Awesome, check it that, and that, okay, I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll add some plants to the top here just to make it look more like a tree, because I don't know what that'll do. Oh, that looks awful. Let's get rid of that. Let's add in C again. That looks horrible. But what I really like is if we take a look at this, you can actually see we've got a reflection in the water of this island. If we change to different photos to get different lighting, it'll actually even reflect the sun and other things like that inside of the water, which to me is just mind blowing. I don't even understand quite how that works. So let's give some 
Ross over here. Let's see what happens. Cool. Okay, so now that we've done all that kind of playing, let's do something a little bit more interesting. You can go down to the bottom over here and go to upload painting. So what we'll do is we'll click on browse. I've got a folder here with the Starry Night painting by Vincent van Gogh. Love this painting. Either way, it's Starry Night by Vincent. One of my favorite paintings. We'll click open and then click upload. So now if we select it, it'll try and copy what it's doing. But the big problem is with a lot of these sort of painting styles, it doesn't know what is sky, what is floor, what is water, what is anything. So it's just guessing. And I mean, that looks pretty awesome. But what we can do is we can just reset this and see what each of these things do. So now we've got sky and we've got water. So water looks like it would actually make a really good sky. So what we'll do is we'll make the ground into bush and we'll make the sea into the sky because it makes a really good sky. Look at that color. Okay, that's not looking too far off from what we were looking at. In fact, I think we'll keep it um, plant and we'll keep the sea what it is because the nice thing about the sea is it, it reflects the sky. So that might actually add a little bit more detail to the ground. So let's see what that does. Okay, I can live with that. Let's check what tree does. Aha, uh -huh. that's kind of getting there. River, let's check what river does. Which river should also have some kind of reflection. Oh, I see, that's awesome. Let's do water. Maybe water will be even cooler. See, now that's pretty cool. Okay, so river to me is awesome. We'll stick with river. Now this little bit over here looks like it's a tree or it's a mountain or something. So we can probably go with, hmm, I think we'll try tree first and see what it does. Well, Draw the shape over here. Oopsie. Never mind. Looks like that is going to cause trouble. So let's do this. I forgot we were using tree for the sky. Okay, that's better. So what we'll do is we'll do tree over here. Oops. Does bug out sometimes and you need to reset it. But we'll live with it. Oh, that's kind of getting there. Let's make... Let's draw the tree in, see what it looks like. I think that works pretty well. That looks almost like the picture. We'll make it a bit thicker at the bottom. Okay, cool. I can live with that. Uh, rocks. Let's do rocks along the bottom here so we get some depth. Let's see what it does. Okay. Actually, rocks, I think, would do better in the sky as clouds. Let's actually see what clouds do. Okay, no, clouds work, clouds work. So I rate clouds and rocks in the sky would do well. So let's undo that last lot. And we'll make this slightly smaller. So we're going to make these swirls. swirly there, make a swirly there, make it even thinner, make a swirly here, and make a swirly there. 
Let's see what it does. This could be really ugly or really cool. Ooh, that kind of works. Sort of, maybe. I don't know. That looks not terrible. Um, let's do trees, because trees gives you a little bit of that darkness. So let's whip that in there. I wish I could get that yellow. I wonder what would give me that yellow. Cloud? I wonder if cloud would give me that yellow. No. Dirt? Maybe sand. I rate maybe sand would. Because, you know, sand. Mm, kind of gets me there, but it's getting there slowly. Okay, let's go stone. I reckon we could do little blocks like this for the village at the bottom, and then we can add in some sea or wait, yeah, no, wait, maybe road. Let's see what road does. So all this stuff. Let's see what that does. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, I get what it's doing. Do plants. Do, 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 do. You'd think some of these things would be similar colors to each other, but they're not, like, at all. It's quite interesting to see what it does. Okay, let's add in trees, because trees are dark. But, oh, you think trees and... Plants would be a similar color, but they don't. Okay, oh, hold on, what did I do last? I think it was plants. So plants will add little blocks because they're quite bright. Or mountain, let's check what mountain does. Because that'll give us sort of the windows and stuff. getting a bit strange because we're using mountains for windows it's probably something metaphorical about that but yeah check that ooh metaphorical okay my voice is dying just a little bit ooh okay let's do grass I think that works it's getting there. I think it's pretty cute. Okay, because trees are trees, we're gonna just add in a bunch of tree stuff here. Yeah, okay, that's cool. And then stone, let's see what the stone layer will do. Yeah, okay. Let's see what it does. Yeah, I think it looks pretty Vincent Van Gogh-ish. Yeah, exactly like Vincent Van Gogh. I read he used this program to paint Starry Night. I suppose something that'll give me that yellow. There we go, that kind of does it. It's close enough. Let's do what Bush does. Eh. But yeah, there we go. I used AI to paint a starry night. Let's just take a look at what this mess will look like if I'm referencing a photo. Because now it's trying to replace sky with ground and all sorts of crazy things. Uh, it looks like a cave painting or a mess, like I painted with mud. This one should look cool. Oh, not horrible. Not good. See, that's dumb. Let's see what else. Okay, that, 
that's also not horrible. This one's probably going to be nice. This one always makes things look nice. Look at that. That just looks cool. It's not even a thing, but it, it looks cool. This one as well. Also fine. This one gives me... Yeah, oh, look at that. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, I wouldn't buy it. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. I'll really appreciate it. And hey, share it with your friends. That will really go a long way. Thank you guys, and tune in next time for more interesting tutorials. Take care of yourselves and stay creative. Cheers. From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization. Every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, every saint and sinner in the history of our species.